All right, Kristen, it's Logan here at uh, Perkins Motorplex back in our Louisville and St. Louis delivery inventory where I've got the uh, Toyota 4Runner SR5 four-wheel drive. Now, it's a little dirty. It's gotten dusty back here, and we've had construction going on back here as we continue to add on. So a little bit of mud on the tires, which, I mean, it is, a, it is an SR5, so it's going to be a little more rugged anyway. But <clears throat> just know it'll be completely uh, re uh, detailed at least the outside of it before we were to do delivery or anything like that it'll clean up great uh, front of it looks really good not a lot of rock pecs bug damage no hail damage just a little bit of pollen on it right now uh, looks really good on the front uh, the tires are Bridgestone tires so they're gonna hold up uh, but they are not new tires so please hear me when I say that they are not new we put new tires on some of our vehicles, some of them that have really nice tires like this and they got maybe 40, 50% tread, uh, you're good for another year and a half, two years, so we don't replace the tires. Um, that's the case with these. The rims look good. Looking down this uh, passenger side here. I try to be as picky as I can, but uh, you'll have to give me some grace because, I mean, it's a used vehicle, so we don't expect it to be perfect. Uh, but when I look down this passenger side, there's nothing really to point out. No major blemishes, dings, scratches, anything like that. Back bumper looks good. Of course, it's got the towing hitch. <clears throat> really, really nice. Let's look through the driver's side, down the driver's side. Just trying to look right down that body line to see if I see any major blemishes. It's got the running boards on it. You may take those off. Some people, if they plan on uh, going out to LBL, doing some off-roading or whatever, they'll take that off, take those off for better clearance, and they'll put like a meatier tire, like an all-terrain tire on them. Inside looks great. I know we talked about the smell. First of all, you've got really nice Toyota. It's like a WeatherTech floor mat, but it's straight from Toyota, so it's that really good factory uh, rubber. It's the same one I have in my Tacoma, and you can take it out and just pressure wash it if you want. Uh, back seat looks great. It's never been set in. Uh, looks like it's never been set in. Um, no rips or tears in the leather. And yeah, I don't smell anything. Smells great. Smells like leather. Certainly no smoke. Everything looks good here. Driver seat the same. Passenger seat the same. Does have heated seats, which is great. Heated seats, navigation. Uh, there's the power back glass button, so if you watch that back glass, you'll see that go down. Maybe the coolest feature that the 4Runners have. Of course, you got navigation. A little bit of a smaller screen here, but uh, not being the limited, it's awesome that it has navigation, sunroof, heated seats. Um, really, really nice. I guess the only complaint I have on the interior is when we do the cleaning on these, a lot of times this plastic will... Uh, get a little bit of the spec to it. You can see a little bit of it through here, too. Uh, I can have them hit that again. It will come out over time. It was the same on my Tacoma. Um, and there's there's a couple remedies we got for it. But, I mean, this is awesome. It's <laughs> No stains in the headliner. These are, this is one of the vehicles that's not good for me to do a video walk around on because it's awfully tempting. Uh, let's go to the under the hood. Super clean, super nice. <clears throat> Sounds good, no knocking or ticking in the engine. And I don't see any signs whatsoever of excessive rust or corrosion whatsoever. Main frame line looks good as well. It's always something we wanna check. Yeah, I've got, I've got no complaints. It's used, so it's not gonna be perfect. But there's not a whole lot to point out on this one. Super, super nice. 